Wright Charter School. I'm going to read you this story, a new one for me, The Highest Mountain of Books in the World. It's written by Rokio Banila, and I'm not certain that I'm pronouncing that correctly because I've never heard it pronounced. It begins with a sweet dedication for my mom, who was the life and soul of the house, and for Paps, our guardian angel, and for Ruth, my little Bruce Lee, the highest mountain of books in the world. Lucas was convinced that he was born to fly. He could spend hours watching birds soar or airplanes leaving white trails in the sky up above. He tried to make wings many times. Millions of wings! Big ones, small ones, even ones with real feathers. Surely, he thought, one of his inventions would make his dream come true to fly, but none did. And here his mom is yelling, Lucas! It's not a safe idea to try to fly. Lucas refused to give up. Every Christmas he would write Santa Claus a letter asking him to pretty, pretty please bring me wings that can really fly. But for some reason, year after year, Santa got it wrong, giving him toy wings that were no use at all. On his birthday, after blowing out the candles on his cake and making the same wish he'd made each and every birthday before, his mother said, there are other ways to fly, Lucas and she put a book in his hands. At first, Lucas didn't understand what she meant. He sat in the garden and started to read anyway. He loved the story that his mother had given him so much, he finished it in one sitting. Almost without realizing it, he picked up another book and then another and another. He was amazed by everything he discovered, learned, and imagined. He started to devour books endlessly, and the more he read, the faster he read. He couldn't stop. He soon finished all the books from the bookcase in the living room and the books from his sister's room, too. Before he knew it, the garden was full of books, and he stacked them up and sat on them and asked for more. Everyone brought him books. His best friend, Thomas, the girl next door, the music teacher, his grandfather, and even the local baker. And so his mountain of books grew and grew and grew. After a while, Lucas stopped coming down, not even to eat or sleep. His mother, his sister, and even the fire department tried to get him to come down, but Lucas could only think about reading. When he had finished all the books in the neighborhood, he started on vans full of books from the local library. The mountain of books grew higher and higher, and he became so famous he was even on TV. When people found out about him, they came from all over to see the highest mountain of books in the world. And that's what that sign says, the highest mountain of books in the world. And there's a banner with his name, Lucas, and a flag, a pennant right there that says Lucas. He's got fans. Lucas didn't notice anything. He just kept on reading. 
With each story, he traveled to other countries, discovered interesting things about history, met new characters, and imagined worlds that didn't really exist. And then one day, all of a sudden, he understood what his mother meant. Even though he couldn't fly, his imagination could. In fact, he realized that he hadn't stopped flying since he started his first book. And at that moment, he wanted to climb down the mountain to tell her. But how? And that's when his imagination allowed him to fly yet once again. And there he is. He made it to mom. The end.